What's up everyone? It's Trey Adams here. And also, of course, I'm here with Yang Lang. Little shit. Uh, and we're gonna be doing a product review of a humidor. What's up, Yang? Why are you so nosy? <laughs> Good morning everybody, good morning. Sitting here drinking some coffee. It's kinda late in the morning actually. I stayed up late last night, I stayed up till like two, so slept in till about 10, but we're up, we're at it, and I'm sipping some coffee. But, today's video, I wanted to do a review of my cigar humidor. So my actual really nice cigar humidor that my fiance got me for Christmas in 2021, so. Uh, it's a electronic digital cigar humidor that basically keeps the cigars humid and cold too, so kind of like a refrigerator. So we'll do a quick review on that, show you the inside of it, the outside of it, and then uh, we'll hop over to my streaming setup and break down some of the specs that are on Amazon of it. So uh, excuse the messy apartment right now, but we are doing some cleaning today. But here we go, we'll check it out. All right, so what we're looking at right now is my cigar humidor. It is the Whitner. Uh, it's a great cigar humidor. Looks nice. Very sleek, modern finish. You know, has the blue LEDs on the outside. But you can kind of see how wide, how much room it takes up. Um, I just have it sitting in my living room next to my entertainment center and everything, uh, with my fiance's trophy on the top of it. But and, and there's Yang. Okay. Yeah. Come over here. You noisy little shit. So you have the buttons on the outside. Coming in close, you have, you can change it between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Sometimes I click them on accident and forget to change them back. Uh, and the up and down for the temperatures. So I usually keep mine at like 66. And then here is another button that's a light on the inside. inside. So when you open it up, you can actually see the light come on. Press the button again. So it's like a blue light, nothing bright, just a nice blue light to give it a little accent lighting. But uh, when you open it up, you just have to open it all the way up because it will catch these wooden benches will catch here. So, but once it's open all the way up, you have about three or four drawers that you can line your cigars with. So I have my Boveda packs in there. And then top row, as you see, I try to keep it, you know, like my top shelf, my nicer ones. And then slide it back in. The second row, as you can see, I have mine double stacked. So basically just the salt scars stacked on top of each other. And looks really nice when you open them up. Sometimes they slide depending on how hard you pull them out. Then you just slide that back in. Inside of here, there is a traditional gauge to check the humidity. But I usually always go off of just a digital one with a battery in it. So as you can see, there it is. I just leave it inside of there, you know, because those you have to calibrate and I've read reviews based on it saying that traditionally it doesn't show a very good reading so I just stick with one of those but pull that out I also have some more Boda packs back there I do have a little tray that can be used for distilled water you know if you are trying to season it or if you're trying to get to the specified humidity that you want and need some additional help you can use that tray to add some distilled water in but you can see it holds a lot of cigars in there I mean you can the potential for this is, you know, unlimited. I think it, I believe, based on the reviews, it holds between maybe 200, 250 cigars. So, and we'll pull that up on, on Amazon in a few minutes too. Um, but then at the bottom down here, I usually keep some more cigars uh, in boxes. So just other cigars, you can see, you have more room down there, you can put things, but yeah, I just usually keep my boxes and these do have some cigars. I think these are like my, it says it's Drew Estate, I believe, Fat Betty box, but it, all it has in it is my uh, flavored cigars. 
<clears throat> well, I say flavor, more like the infused cigars. So it has the infused cigars in it. So I keep them in that box. And in here, I believe these are some that aren't, uh, have the cellophane on them. One thing I did notice, I try to keep all my cigars with the cellophane on the outside because I noticed that all of mine that didn't have it on there, they were like getting mold on them. And that's very challenging to, um, it was very challenging to get the mold from stop growing. So since I've kept them separated in the, inside of that box now, I haven't had any issues with mold growing. But before that, I had them on the top shelf, really nice cigars and they kept growing mold on them so they of course had to get rid of them and ruining cigars and i had some really nice top top shelf cigars in there so uh, i'm now choosing to keep all of mine with the wrapping cellophane wrapping i believe i'm saying it right on the cigars and that way to try and prevent that mold but yeah uh definitely keep that on there but yeah here it is let me get this closed now because i probably screwed up the <clears throat> humidity inside of there but this is the digital Whitner cigar humidor very nice modern sleek looking so yeah there is my cigar humidor the whole time I'm trying to film this video this little shit right here is like in the middle of the camera I don't know and like she's like trying to see what she's on a bag I don't know why she's on a bag but she's like trying to get in the camera the whole time I took like three or four photos of her and videos of her. Now, every time I have the camera out, she thinks that she's supposed to be in it. So she's like coming over to check it out. So there, there's your little, your time on camera. Yeah. And interesting too, she loves the smell of cigars. So if I go outside and I'm smoking a cigar, when I come back in, you know, she smells my fingers and she like starts licking them like crazy. I don't know if it's like a catnip smell to her or what, but like she'll smell cigar on me, she'll find me and she'll chase me around and like until like she's wanting to lick my fingers like crazy. I don't know why, it's the weirdest thing ever. I think she's trying to get some some uh, some nicotine off of me, like a little, what's it called? Secondhand smoke, you know, a little, a little secondhand high. <laughs> I don't know, it's crazy. She's so interesting and so annoying too though at the same time. But we'll go over to the gaming slash streaming setup and look up some specs on Amazon to break down some prices that way if anybody has any questions regarding the price you know where to find it and everything we can pull that up so so we're now at my computer pulling up the humidor online on Amazon so we can look at the specs so I can talk about them and everything because um, it's a little hard to find so I'll try and drop an image of the exact one that way you can see it so the one that I have is the like I said the Whitner CHC 122 BD and I'll drop an image somewhere in here. Right now the price is showing 383 on Amazon, which is crazy expensive for this. And considering, like if you're if you have the money to spend on it, you know you have a huge cigar collection, sure. But I mean, if you're just trying to get into the hobby, or you want something nice, you know that is a kind of pricey. So you can probably shop around and find alternatives that are cheaper. But yeah, 383. I was trying to just see how many cigars. There it is, 250 plus cigars. So that's a lot of cigars. I mean, I don't know how big your cigar collection is. I collect cigars, it's a hobby of mine. I don't smoke cigars every day. I don't smoke cigars every week. You know, sometimes I only smoke a cigar, you know, once once a month. It just depends on what's going on. You know, if I need to be, if I'm, you know, wanting to relax, chill, if there's an event going on, you know, if I have friends over, that's when I smoke cigars. Um, you know, I smoke cigars, drink whiskey, I have smoked cigars, I drink coffee too, so both of them. But yeah, I, my collection has built up quickly. Uh, over the past year I started in 2019 I believe about mid 2019 um, and then pretty much I think around 2021 I mean I really didn't buy that many more cigars I was getting cigars through I had a subscription service where they sent me like five a month four to five a month and I had that for about right at a year so that helped build my collection up quick um, but anytime we would do like holidays or birthday, my birthday, or anything like that, you know, people would always get me one to two cigars or three to four cigars. If I travel, if I'm traveling somewhere, I try to get a cigar, you know, every city or wherever we're going to, I try to, you know, get one or two cigars to bring back, you know, build my collection up. And then I can have that cigar, I'm gonna like pull them out and just look at them and say, where did I get this one from? And try to remember, you know, say, oh yeah, this one was from, you know, um, South Carolina trip or New York City, or no, this one was a gift for Puerto Rico. I think my buddy, 
I have like four or five cigars still in there from Puerto Rico that he got me. You know, I have cigars in there from people that brought me ones from like the Bahamas in place. So, uh, but yeah, as far as this cigar humidor, I mean, this is a great addition. It looks great. You saw the pictures of it, the video of it. Um, yeah, so if you have one already, you know, drop your comments below. Tell me what you think about it. You know, how have you enjoyed it? Have you had any issues with it? I have not had any issues with mine other than the fact that I got to remember to clean the back filter on the back of it. Not filter, but the vents on the back of it because it does have where the airflow goes. And so with us having, you know, Kat, Yang Lang, our little shit, um, her hair goes everywhere. And so uh, when I was dealing with that mold issue, I was checking in the back of it and I noticed that it was like caked with hair on the back vent on the outside. So I have to remember like every month or so to check that and make sure there's no hair build up on it, clogging it up. But other than that though, I haven't had any issues with it. It's been great. I love it. It's very attractive. And I mean, and I feel like it'll, you know, be perfect for anybody else's cigar collection. And yeah, like I said, it's big and you may have, don't have a big cigar collection, but if you're really getting into the hobby and then over time, it'll grow quickly. So, so if you made it this far in the video, I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, hit that like button, drop a comment, tell me what you think, tell me what your thoughts are. You know, if you use one of those similar cigar humidors or if you have a different style, uh, leave a comment. And then also help me out and help me grow this channel by hitting that subscribe button. And then stay tuned for more content. I'll be doing videos on cigars, coffee, whiskey, and of course my favorite thing to do, video games. But then also some daily life stuff. So thank you again, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video.